Yo, what is up, everybody? Jumping here, and I am back with the Moonlight Warrior for Bloodborne. Right now, I'm still in the DLC. I need to go get that Blood Rock. That's the main thing I want to do here. Once I get that, I'm going to go back to the vanilla game because I've really been neglecting the vanilla game. Right now, I'm at the Forbidden Woods, so I'm going to go ahead and finish that area, which should be really easy at this point because I'm way over leveled and my weapon will be at plus 10, which is kind of ridiculous. Alrighty, well, I have been farming this area for a while when I wasn't recording. Let me go ahead and show you what I have on this now. I have a whole bunch of pretty decent gems. Unfortunately, I only have one 22% gem. The other ones are 20% gems. But I like those because they increase stamina cost, which isn't really a big deal. The one I don't like is the weapon durability one. I really hate that. The only other option for these curse effects, though is sadly to go ahead and lower your damage for like certain types of enemies like let's say beast i don't want that because of pve the durability gems really suck though and the reason why they suck is because of pve in pvp it's not a big deal you just go back you repair your weapon it's whatever but in pve it gets fucking annoying really really quickly so far though i haven't really had too many problems Believe it or not, with the durability, I've had this gem in for a while. It was one of the first ones I've gotten, and like I said, I haven't really had any issues yet, but I probably will later. So once I get like an 18% gem, which I should be getting pretty soon here, I'm probably going to go ahead and swap that out. Oh god, leave me alone. Die! I am hitting so much harder now. It is ridiculous. In fact, I'm really excited for when I actually get... Oh god! Oh god! I'm actually really excited for when I'm going to get this up to plus 10 because I'm going to assume I'm going to hit even harder. Here we! Yeah! 900! Holy shit! That was definitely counter damage right there. But still, it was awesome. Pick that up. And let me run over here. Oh shit! Oh god! Falling from the ceiling? Die! Oh, what the fuck? Will you die? There you go. Alrighty. Where is that one asshole at? I know he runs and he hides like a little bitch. Hello? Oh, how you doing? Ah, you dead. Alright, so this guy is over in the corner over here? Oh shit! You dead, bitch! Give me that. Now it's time to kill you. How you doing? And you're dead. Oh god! Oh god! That stun lock is real, man! Rawr! Okay, I only got one of them. I thought I might have got two right there. But it's whatever. Bring it on! No! Denied. And you died. Alrighty, let me go and get this blood rock. And I should be good. I think there's a gym over here as well. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Nothing too fantastic, but still. Alrighty, well, I'm gonna go and upgrade my weapon, and it should hit a lot harder, because the base damage will go up, and the scaling will go up. That's the most important thing. The scaling goes up to a B in strength, and the scaling will go to a C in skill? Although, it might already have that. Let me check real quick. Okay, it already has that, but still, the scaling does go up once you actually increase the base damage. It's the math. I don't know how it works exactly, but it does work that way. Anyway, I'm going to then go to the Forbidden Woods, and I will see you guys in a moment. I'm back! Alrighty, now, I don't know if you guys remember or not, but I brought this up before. I said that I actually did run through this area a little bit. Not much, okay? I kind of just ran for it. But I went down to where those aliens are, and I grabbed the one rune. That way I could get the 10% stamina buff, or health buff, whatever the fuck it was. It was the stamina one, that is for sure. So now, I'm gonna take my sweet little time and actually run through this area properly. So let me do that. I can't remember if i already been up here. I know there's an item up here. But I will definitely check it out. Let me see. There's this one big asshole up here. But I'm gonna try to take him out. With one shot. Let's see if that's gonna work. Hello! No, no hyper armor for me, you little bitch! Fuck you! Oh god! I hate the range of that attack, man. Yeah, that's right. I one shot at you, what up? 
Alright, so this should be extremely easy because I'm so overpowered for this part. But I don't care. One shot, all the snakes. Nah, nah. Hey, how you doing? Die. I need to be careful, though, because of my weapon. See, that is going to be a fucking problem. Okay, let me check over here. Apparently, I grabbed that. So maybe I did do a little bit of this area. That's kind of the problem. I don't remember. It's been a long time. But I know that I kind of started it, ran through the normal way, picked up some items along the way, and then I went down to the aliens, grabbed the one thing I was looking for, and I got the fuck out. Okay, let me come down here. And I'm going to run over here. I'm pretty sure there was an item over here. This is probably an item I never grabbed. In fact, yeah, there is something over here. What's up? Oh, fuck me. Get the fuck on somewhere, bitch. That move is so good, dude. It's so, so good. Die. Die. Okay. I really don't need any gems right now. That's kind of a great thing. The only gems I need are from the Chalice Dungeons. And I do want to get some of the best gems in the vanilla game because they don't have any of the fucking curse effects. Which, unfortunately... All these fucking gems do. I think I've already been up here, so let me go down. There should have been an item right there. Oh, God. Looks like I already grabbed this shit, too, but I don't fucking care. Ooh, 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 ooh. AOE! Yeah! Fuck, I didn't kill him, though. AOE! I love it! Oh, shit. Apparently, I didn't hit him with the first one. But still, whatever. Give me all the things. Okay, did I drop down there where the snakes are? I probably did already. Yeah, I got the items down there. Fuck it, though. I don't care. It's time to go and kill these bastards. Oh, God! Leave them alone! Oh, fuck you! You're stunning the fuck out of me! Die! Holy shit. I'm hitting for so much damage. It's awesome! Oh, yeah. Man, I really, really like... All the attacks, because it's really nice. When you do any of the magic attacks, you hit the enemies twice. So that's why I'm hitting for so much damage. Uh, fuck you. I don't know if I've already ran over here yet. Ugh. Oh, God. See what I'm saying? Like, I'm one-shotting that guy. Fuck. Die. Anyway, I one shot that guy where normally that should not happen. But it's because I hit him twice, technically. Okay, I know for a fact I need to make this one jump over here. So I'm going to go do that real quick. Why did I do the normal attack? That was stupid. You did. Die. How many snakes are here? There's a couple. AoE death. Unfortunately, though, I should really go ahead and emergency bullet when I'm using this thing. That is something I need to always try to remember. Okay, I'm probably going to fail this. Because I have failed this jump so many times. You know what? I don't remember me ever really running up here to grab this. This is an item that I probably have missed multiple times. Now, I do know that at one point I probably have grabbed that. But I don't remember grabbing that lately. Hmm. Anyway, it's just one of those things, you know. It's like a little bit off to the side. All right. <clears throat> I'm sitting here bullshitting talking about that because I'm nervous about this jump. Because I know if I fuck this up, everyone's gonna laugh at me. Oh god! I fucked it up! Ah! Yeah, that didn't happen. You didn't see that. So, yeah, let's go ahead and do this, okay? This is my first attempt right here. I'm such an MLG pro jumper! Oh, look at that! Ah, I'm so fucking good. Hell yeah. Let me go ahead and pick this up. Thank you very much. God. I am so good at jumping, my name is jumping, and I'm MLG at it. That's always the really embarrassing thing. My name jumping has nothing to do with my ability to jump in video games, guys. I have to explain that to people all the time. Because I'm playing games with, like, friends or just people that I'm randomly playing a game with. Like, Destiny would be a great example. Because in Destiny, I play with people all the time. I don't want to say that they're my friends because a lot of times I meet people you know and I play a couple games with them or people will add me as a friend on PlayStation I have like a billion friends on PlayStation but do I talk to any of those people not really 
because most of the people, they add me, and then that's it. They might say, oh, thanks for adding me. And I'll say, oh, no problem, you know. But then it's like, after that, nothing. We never play together. We never talk. So I don't really count them as friends. But then one day, randomly, I will go ahead and invite them to play a game like Destiny or something like that. And then I'll fucking fail really, really hard at doing a jump. And everyone will say, but your name is Jumpin'. Ha 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 ha. No, it has nothing to do with why my name is Jumpin'. Fuck. I've explained that so many times too in stories. And that is still a question. Oh my god. It's so annoying. So annoying, guys. But I get that question still. I don't want to say every day. But like at least once a week, I get the question about... So where did you get the name Jumpin? Oh my god. Every single one of my Q&A videos, by the way, I've done like maybe four or five. In fact, I really need to do another one of those. I know people want me to. And I'm sorry, I've been lazy. But, in every single one of my Q&A videos, I have answered that question, I'm pretty sure. That's always been a question. And I've answered it every single time. But I'm going to talk about it again, because people just don't know. And no more matter how many times I talk about it, there's always going to be someone new, I guess, who just, they don't know the story behind it. But my name, Jumpin' Productions, or Jumpin', which is my username on pretty much everything that I use, that comes from, I'm checking this out real quick, what the fuck? Anyway, that actually comes from the original name I had, which is Jumpin', it's useless. In fact, my name on PlayStation right now, at least my real name, on PlayStation, because my username, our PSN, is Jumpin' Production with no S. So if you guys want to add me, go ahead. I have no problem. Just, you might fall into this category of people where you'll add me, and then we never talk. You know what I'm saying? It just happens. But anyway, point here is that my real name on here is not my actual real name. In fact, I don't know why people put their real names on there. And then they do, like, the real name requests on PlayStation, which is kind of fucking dumb, in my opinion. Not that there's anything wrong with that, because, see, to me, I kind of just changed my name. Like, because my name on here is Jumpin' It's Useless. That's my real name. But it's really confusing to me when people put their real name, because, like, I'll get used to a certain person's name. Like, I'll give you an example. There's this guy I know. His name is, or his PSN is Fast Numbers, but his actual name is, like, Alex. I'm not going to tell you his last name. But his name's Alex, and he's done the real name request for me. And I'm always looking for him to, like, invite him to play Destiny or whatever game I'm playing. Because I play with him all the time. He's a cool guy. But the thing is, is that I can never find him. I'm like, where the fuck is this, this guy? You know, is he not online? I know he's online. I can't find him. And it's like, fuck, that's right. I have to look under A for this guy's name because it's Alex. It's like, God damn it. Ah, shit. See, with me, it's easy. Because if you real name request me, my name is Jumpin' is useless. So that's where the fucking name comes from. It's not about me jumping. It's about jumping in general is useless. At least at the time when I made the name. I am like fucking rambling, by the way. Okay, fuck it. It's probably because I'm playing and talking. Oh, God! I'm sorry. You probably like it when I ramble, don't you? You fucking love it! Urgh, God, leave me alone! Normally I try to gun parry these fools. Oh God, I didn't get it off. You know, fuck this shit. Let me do a power attack. Oh, fuck, I didn't hit the good version of it. Uh, fuck off. Come on, come on. Oh, God, baby! Let's go! That was insane! Oh my god. <laughs> 1400 damage? Are you fucking kidding me? Holy hell. Fuck it, let's go kill Rom real quick. This should be really easy. But yeah, so the name was Jumping is Useless, and it was about Halo 2. Because in Halo 2, jumping wasn't all that good. In Halo 3, and in Reach, and all the other Halo games, you can, like, do all types of crazy shit. And I guess in Halo 2, you can kind of do the same thing, but this came a little bit later. But at first, man, I was seeing people, like, just jumping around like fucking crazy people when they're, like, shooting their guns and shit. And it used to bug me, so I just came up with the name. 
jumping is useless. And it meant in terms of me like sniping you in the face. You can jump all you want. It ain't gonna make a difference. I'm still gonna snipe you in the face. Jumping is useless. But, you know, it kind of became like a ha 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 jumping. Yeah, you are fucking useless, you scrub. Because all my friends used to talk shit all the time. And I just fucking went with it because I fucking thought that was hilarious. So I just kept that name for the longest time. Then eventually I lost that particular gamer tag on Xbox, which was like the saddest thing ever when I lost that. Because I fucking love that name, man. And whoever has that name on Xbox now is a fucking asshole. Because, um, I don't even think they play. That's the fucking worst thing. Like, when you lose a name or something, and then, like, you go and look it up later, and the person, like, made an account, and they stole your username, and then, fucking, they never play, so it's, like, totally wasted on them. But, yeah, that is a real bummer. But my real name on PlayStation is Jumpin' It's Useless. And I actually got a message from some guy who was like, but you're not useless, Jumpin', I don't get it. Like, oh god, I guess you didn't know the fucking story, huh? I'm like, fuck, here we go again. More people who don't watch my fucking Q&A videos! Jesus Christ! Fucking hell. Actually, the other day, I was playing this game with this, um, kid. I don't mean it as in, like, oh, it's that kid, how the gamers speak, you know? It's like, oh, this kid, this kid, this kid. Gamers, man, we love the word kid. We just say it for everybody. I don't care. I could be talking to a fucking 50-year-old. I'm like, this fucking kid, man. This fucking kid. Anyway, this was an actual kid. I was playing with him because he wanted some help on Bloodborne. And I told him, yeah, I'm down. You know, sure, whatever. I don't mind doing that. I really don't. It just depends on, you know, what I'm doing at the time. If I'm not doing anything, I'm always down to help people if they want help or something. With Bloodborne or Dark Souls or whatever. But anyway, so, I went to play with this guy, and he's like, oh, yeah, man, I watch all your videos, you're awesome, and I get that all the time, you know, somebody will, um, hit me up, and I'll respond, and they are always, like, really surprised when I respond to them, like, they just think, like, I'm some asshole, probably, who don't respond to people, but I do respond to most people. Anyway, so, this guy went ahead and, um, or this kid, let's, uh, get it right. He was like, you know, I watch all your videos, blah, 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 blah. So I went ahead and I, you know, joined up with him to play um, some Bloodborne and help him. And I was using this build, actually. I was using the Moonlight Greatsword. And the guy was like, uh, what weapon is that? I'm like, uh, this is a Moonlight Greatsword. He's like, oh, wow, where did you get that from? I'm like, oh, it comes from the DLC. I'm like, but wait a minute, you said you watched all my fucking videos. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, what the fuck? Like, how do you not know about this at this point? I'm fucking making this whole build. So anyway, clearly, uh, something was going on there. Uh, just saying, fucking hell, I'm getting wrecked by that stupid move. You know, something was going on there. I guess he, uh, watches a lot of my videos, but hasn't been watching them lately or something. Because, I mean, fuck, I've come out with, like, a billion parts of this series already. And, uh, it was just kind of funny. Oh my god, I'm fucking rambling today! Let's go! Oh god. Bring it on, bitch. Bring it the fuck on. Yes! Oh, you are getting fucked up. Mm-mm. You did. Naha. 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 Alright, let me go ahead and grab that. And it's time to move the fuck out. Oh my god, there is so many summons that you can freaking summon. There's two of them here. Wow, they really made this game a lot easier. Honestly, that's exactly what that does. It makes it really easy for people on their first playthrough. And there's really nothing wrong with that, I guess. But to me, I don't know. I don't really like it. I don't like the idea that you can summon these NPCs to help you with these boss battles. This game is meant to be hard. Oh, God. Get wrecked. Okay, let me go ahead and open this. And pick this up. Thank you very much. And there's one more item here. Go ahead and grab that. It's the student's outfit. Which I might actually wear. I'm not sure. I really haven't decided on what outfit. I've been wearing this one from the DLC because I really like the way this one looks. And it's a pretty good set of armor, too. So that always helps. But, um, 
I don't think I'm going to end up using it in the end. I was going to wear the dress and the crown and all that, but then I decided not to because I've been there, done that before with the whole queen jumping. Haha, <laughs> I have king jumping, prince jumping, and queen jumping. Naha, naha. Yo, bro, give me the shit, please. Oh, that's right. You have to kill him. Uh, die. It's actually really important to kill him, too, because I want this goddamn thing. Thank you. I need all of the item discovery that I can get. Alright, it's time to go down and kill me some rhyme. This will be extremely easy because I'm overpowered as fuck and I have just recently killed Rom in the Chalice Dungeon and that was easy. Alright, so how do I want to do this? Let me come up here, line this up properly. Let's go, baby! Mm. Oh, them spiders, though. Fuck you. Oh, you know what? I fucked up big time. Hit him in the head. What was I smoking? Oh, my God! No stamina, of course. Aha! Aha! Oh, my God. That was ridiculous. Ridiculous. All right. Let's go. Let's go! Fuck, 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 fuck! You know what I need to try? I haven't actually tried it before, but there might be a, a double L2 with this move. That would be awesome. Oh, God! Get the fuck on somewhere, Rom. All right, come on. No, I don't think so. Well, he's dead. Let me uh, try that real quick. Come on, Stamina, come back. All right, double L2. No, it's just one. But still, that is a badass move. And I freaking destroyed him when I hit him with the two-piece. But I don't know what I was smoking there, hitting him in the head. I think the reason why I did that was because I was thinking that if he was going to try to retreat, I could easily hit him. Because when he's trying to retreat, if you can hit him in the head, you can actually stun him and he'll come back. And then you can do some more damage and he'll try to retreat again. And as he's retreating and disappearing, he is really weak. All right, let me go ahead and do this. Yo, what's up? Alrighty, well, I am back. That was kind of weird. Well, whatever. I don't remember that popping up, that message, but I'm sure it has always popped up. Let me go and light this lamp real quick. Well, I feel like I've made a lot of progress very quickly. It didn't take all that long to defeat the Forbidden Woods and to also beat Rom. Although Rom is extremely easy to get through, it's such a small area. Leave me alone, asshole! Now, I am not gonna do this area in this episode, so I'm gonna end the episode now. Fuck you! Get on somewhere, bitch! And then in the next episode, I'm probably gonna do another Chalice Dungeon. And then after that, I'll probably do some more DLC stuff. And then, yeah, that's the plan. Anyway, guys, I really hope you have enjoyed it. If you have, will you please like the video for me? Be sure to subscribe for future videos. And I really do hope that everyone has a very nice day and peace out.